In our last screencast, I showed you how to make the crab and the lobster turn at the world edge automatically. So our game is coming together. Now what we need is we need the crab to eat the worms when they hit, or we need the lobster to eat the crab when they hit, or else this game wouldn't be very fun. Right now we don't have any of that happening, so in this screencast I'll show you how to use collisions. So the best way to do this or the way to start this is to go and figure out who's going to eat who or who's going to collide with who. So what I'll show you how to do is I'll show you how to make a crab eat a worm. You can use the same method to make a lobster eat a crab or you can make anything do any eat anything on the screen this way. So I'm going to go into the crab class and again I'm going to change its code just a little bit. I'm going to create a new method for this. So I'm going to go down, make sure you're between the green curly braces here. You can't quite see it because it's over there. Between these two, and I'm going to create a new method. Again, it's going to be a public void. I'm going to call it eat worms. Okay, so we have to have curly braces that match. See how it's red? And what we're going to do is we need to create an actor, or we need the crab to look for actors that it's hitting or objects that it's hitting. So right here, if you look, we're going to look for worms right here. So to do this, we're going to type in capital A actor. So we're going to create an actor. I'm going to call it lowercase worm. That is not the same as uppercase worm class right here. Lowercase and uppercase case are different things. Actor worm equals, and we're going to use a method called get one intersecting object. And then in parentheses, we're going to put the class that we're looking for. I want my crab to eat worms, so I'm going to type in worm right here. So I'm going to write worm.class. Put a semicolon there. Now, I'm going to use another if statement. I'm going to say if, and now I'm using lowercase worm. That's this actor. Exclamation point equal signs means not. If it is not, null. Null means that nothing's happening. So a double negative of nothing's not happening means something is happening or you are hitting a worm. Basically this says if we're hitting a worm or if we're hitting an actor from the worm class. So if the worm is not null, we're going to get the world and then we're going to remove an object. These are all methods we're using. And in parentheses, we're going to type which object we want to remove. If we're eating this guy worm, this actor guy named worm, that's who we want to remove. So we're going to go here, worm, and put a semicolon. I have to call this method in my act method, so I'm going to call it eat worms. And it doesn't matter if I put that method here or down here, just as long as it's in the act method. Let's press compile and see if I made no mistakes, and I didn't. Now, what's going to happen is if my crab is hitting a worm, it's going to remove him or it's going to look like I ate him. I'll press run, and I can steer around here, and now if I hit a worm, the worm's gone. Same thing here, same thing here. Oh, my crab's eating all those worms. Now. If I wanted to, I could add code, and I'm not going to show you how, but you should probably do this, so that if the crab and the lobster hit each other, the lobster eats the crab. So use that same kind of code to eat the crab. 